California. He had a good chunk of your class uh, play right away last year. Uh, do you envision uh, a large percentage of these guys playing? Yeah, and, and day one? I, I sure do. And, and, you know, last year I said that I, I thought a lot of those guys would play right away, and, and, and people think it's just – you know, something that we say without giving it some thought. And then, you know, at the end of the season last year, we had a lot of freshmen that played and played very well, you know. And I think the same thing's going to happen this year. I, I think there could be eight to ten guys that's in this freshman class uh, that could play next year. And the reason why I say that, when you when you have a small class and uh, as, a, as a program, it's you know, how important for it is for us to win this year. And we went out and tried to recruit guys that could help us win right away. We didn't, we didn't take on many projects. All these guys we thought were – outstanding football players on film and guys that had more than enough ability uh, to come in and compete uh, for playing time uh, this season or uh, to, to push and, and make a difference to our football team in, in, in some ways. So I think eight to ten of these guys can, and obviously some of them are going to have to. You know, I, I think that uh, obviously you know, Schmidt, uh, Schmidt, the guy we just signed, he's going to be probably our snapper next year. Uh, we were, were down numbers-wise at the running back position, so a couple of these running backs – are going to have to play next season. We don't know exactly which ones, but they're all good players, and they all can come, can come in here and compete. But a couple of these running backs will have to play some for us next season. With the uh, signing day over with today, we've been waiting for uh, Frankie Williams to sign with us. That's uh, really, really important uh, for Taylor Richards to sign with us because they're really good players. Uh, they're, they're, in our minds, uh, uh, the quality of player of uh, the Ricardo Allens and, and the and, and, and O.J. Rosses, and the same with uh, Raheem Moster, you know, guys that uh, are really fast and really good players that could come on and impact our program. Uh, for Frankie Williams uh, coming on board and, and, and Taylor Richards comes on board, that may allow us to, to take someone else from the offensive side and move them over to the receiver position. We still need more good receivers. You know? and so uh, bringing those guys on board, guys that can help next year and compete next year, that will allow us to do some things personnel-wise with what we already have here on our roster. So uh, I think there's probably eight to ten guys. Uh, uh, Cooper, I think, can come in. I think he's physical enough to, to, to compete to play next year. Uh, Kalana Judd, he's big enough and tough enough and, and, and mean enough to come in and play Big Ten football uh, next year. Uh, Brandon Cottom, he's a 240-pound uh, utility back with great feet and good speed. He's a smart guy. He could, he could come in and, and potentially help us next year. You know, a lot of these guys could. And obviously anybody that's here mid-year, Sterling Carter and Akeem Shavers, uh, they're going to, uh, have to be able to help us next next season. That's why we have them here now.